Hi, Owen Menem here with the Cisco OX Tag Team. Today, I'm going to go over how to update your Cisco SP certificate within Control Hub for ADFS SSO. As an important note, this guide is specifically for ADFS SSO configurations. Other IDB types may vary in the needed configuration and steps required. In addition, updating the SP certificate will update the certificate for all IDPs. So if you're in a multi-IDP configuration, you'll need to update the certificate in those IDPs as well. Finally, make sure to complete this during a scheduled maintenance window as SSO issues can affect users being able to sign into WebEx services. First, navigate to WebEx Control Hub and go to your organization settings and scroll down the page to authentication. Click on Manage SSO and IDPs. Click on Review Certificates and Expiration Date. On the page, you should see displayed your SP certificate. If your certificate is about to expire soon, you should see the date reflect that. Click on Renew Certificates. Step 1 will appear on your screen asking if your IDP supports multiple or single certificates. In this example, I'm going to select IDP that supports a single certificate. Once you select that, more information will appear asking what certificate you would like to use. You can choose either certificate, however Cisco recommends the use of the self-signed by Cisco certificate as it allows you to not have to update your SP certificate every year. Here, I'm going to select the self-signed by Cisco. Then, click Download Certificate. Save this certificate to your ADFS servers as we will use this later. Click Next. Here, we'll be reminded to update our IDPs. As noted previously, make sure to update all IDPs while going through this process if you have multiple IDPs. Leave this window open and go over to your ADFS configuration in your ADFS server. Here, I'm going to select Relying Party Trusts. Here, you'll see a list of all your trusts for ADFS. I'm going to select the WebEx SSO Trust and open it up. Then, I'm going to go to the Encryption section. Here, you can see the old SP certificate. To replace this, click Browse and upload the new SP certificate you just downloaded from Control Hub. Once uploaded, hit OK. We will then do the same thing in the Signature section, adding the same new certificate you just downloaded from Control Hub. If you use the five-year Cisco SP certificate, you need to open an admin PowerShell prompt and enter the command shown below. You can also copy the command from the help document provided in the description of the video. Once done, you can return to Control Hub. Here, you can click Successfully Updated All the IDPs and select Next once you've finished updating all your IDPs. Lastly, you'll be presented with your new certificate. Select Finish Renewal. Once completed, you'll be returned back to the SSO overview page. Your Cisco SP certificate is now renewed. Thank you for watching.